Today is uh, September 17, 2016. I have not recorded my workout quite some time, and I have not put many videos out. Um, but for the past couple days, since the kids have been in school, for some reason I've been editing a couple of my old videos. It doesn't have to do with fitness. I have two other, three other channels that uh, I'm working on and uh, I've put I've been editing a couple of videos some of them since earlier this year so I'm just catching up but today December 7th uh, I'm saying December September 17th while I was at the gym um, it's a Saturday I hardly come around that time it was around one o'clock in the afternoon I came to work out after I've taken my kid, my son, to uh, some religion class. So I came around one right afterward. And uh, the gym was pretty empty. As you can see, it was empty. And I had my cell phone on and I decided to record the workout. And it's not the best quality of uh, video, but if you could make up the image, that would be great. So that was pretty much my warm up, and I started with uh, abs. I was doing um, side crunches. Uh, uh, I love to do this. It's really good for my obliques, and uh, so I did a couple. I think I only recorded one one set for one side, and I started seeing people coming around. So I stopped the camera. I didn't want to have to black people's faces and things like that. So. I only record one side, but I did two sets uh, for each size, each side. Um, so right now I was working my uh, my abs, and I was doing some um, ab workout, and that was for my right side. And uh, as you can see, I came and stopped it because I saw a couple people coming around. So when I see people, so now I started doing my workout. Um, I did two sets of the abs, and um, I was changing the the machine, uh, the ropes, the handles, and things like that to do what I need to do. So I'm not even gonna edit, like cut the video. The only thing that I did is uh, stop, remove the audio because of the music and the gem. I don't want YouTube to uh, block my uh, my video. So. Um, Pretty much, I know it's a very poor quality of a video. It's and it's facing the the windows and things like that, so it's really dark. I didn't have my other uh, camera, so what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna start bringing my camera around with me when I go to the gym. When I see the opportunity, I'll just do it. And uh, I'm always working my back. Damn, it's really dark. <sighs> Hopefully, you could make up the. Uh, the image maybe next time when I go to the gym I'll do the exact same thing that I did here and record it with a better uh, with a better camera so uh, yeah I was doing um, working my back I even forgot what this exercise is called but um, and I reduced the weight I did full body today, so I did my back, and then I came, I switch to chest, chest fly, and I increase the weight a little bit. As you can see, it's not that heavy, but when you're doing a lot of repetitions and uh, different movements, it really <laughs> take a toll on the muscle. It get tired very quickly, and then I'm doing a different. Uh, portion of the chest and I think I either 10 or 12 reps for each so it's a lot of repetition so you could see why I reduced the weight and the other day someone um, was asking me I think she's seen me around um, I don't do much uh, cardio and I said when I'm working out it's pretty much cardio because I do my workout in a circuit so you know I had my bench here set up already like I said, the gym was not really packed. When the gym is not packed like that, I tend to do a lot of different exercise in one 
uh, in one circuit. So that's where my cardio come in. Like I said, I was doing um, full body. So now I'm working my back again. And I think I only record one set of this. And this guy, <laughs> he started looking at the camera. Um, and then I was waiting for him to move. Uh, thank God his face doesn't really show that. Well, maybe I'll still black it just to be safe. He came. I was like, damn, he's going to black my view. All right. Um, I'll black his face um, after I finish this voiceover. And I'm working my shoulders, my delt. And I think I was using, I think it was a seven and a half pound for this. And you see, I switched my my hand position to a different um, position. I think it was at neutral. There, I'm looking at him. I'm like, move out the way. <laughs> and he just realized it. Sorry, buddy. I'll block your face. Don't worry. Okay, so now I switched to do chess again. This was, let me see, let me see what I did here. Okay, yeah, so I that was a 32 pound uh, dumbbells for the chest press. That was a 32 pound. I didn't see how fast this guy was doing his curls, and he's done. <laughs> All right, and I switch again. There's another exercise I'm going to do. All my weights were around. Like I said, the gym was not that packed, so I was able to do that. I had a couple uh, dumbbells lying around with different um, different size, different weight. This one was a 45 pound. Forty-five pound dumbbell. I think I did twelve rep on that. And I walk around a little bit to do the other uh, the other arm. And I got a little scared um, after, I, I don't remember which exercise that I was doing. Uh, I think I was doing the, what's the name of this exercise? With the barbell, um, sh uh, it wasn't shrug, uh, I forgot the name. I just came from the gym, so my mind is like, yeah, it was when I was doing this exercise. And I felt uh, my vein on my neck, uh, that was on the other set. My uh, vein on my neck just it didn't snap, but I felt like it it pulled a, a muscle or vein behind my neck. You know, I already have a uh, back problem, so I was like, geez, I hope it's nothing more. So I took a while, I, you know, stretch, uh, you know, my neck area, and I did a couple of things, and I, actually right now I'm not even feeling it. But, phew, that was one heck of a scare that I had. It was on the second set. I didn't record the second set. As you can see, a lot of guys started coming around. I didn't want to uh, record anymore. Because I was doing pretty much the same thing anyway. So I didn't see the use for me to record it again. And my lado. My stomach is still this week... Uh, Last week, actually, I ate some Oreo cookies, and uh, you could see it on my stomach. But uh, it actually went down. I, I watch what I eat this this week, so I've, it's been improving. Don't worry. By next week, I, I should be okay. It's mostly the lower part. but And now I switch to the front. Um, ways uh i yeah it two five pounds i use to make it 10 and i usually like to do this with uh one arm at a time
and now I'm going back to the uh, cable as you can see no no rest at all the only rest is to go from one machine to the next actually I'm looking at this here I hope I was able to uh, catch my face anyway it's poor quality anyway so anything is better than nothing okay I'm gonna go to do some flies this time I lower the the pulley area oh wow you only see my legs <laughs> only my legs so I was doing some flies um, and then I switched for I think I did 12 rep regular fly and then I went back and reduced the weight so um, so I could do the crossover uh, fly yeah I definitely will have to record this again I will record, you see I reduced the weight and I did the same thing but I crossed my arms over each other to have uh, uh, maximum um, range of motion damn it it's not, it's bad that you guys didn't see it only my legs <laughs> I should feel embarrassed but uh, I could easily cut it but I'm gonna leave it because that was the whole point to show that um, that's how I do my cardio also move from one exercise to the next especially when the gym is empty it's a perfect way to do that took a break and I think I'm gonna lower the bully again go all the way down if I had watched the video when after I did it, I would have seen that only my legs and I could have recorded the second um, second set. Okay, I'm gonna do, I'm doing some um, lado. I just remember the first exercise, cable crossover. <laughs> yeah, when you come from the gym, your brain is kind of like empty even though I already eat okay I switch to the front ways with the cable I do different variation with uh, uh, raises front and lateral it's good to do that especially when I'm doing full body it's good to hit the whatever muscles you're trying to target in different um, variation Use different machine, different tactic, different, um, you know, techniques. So, it's good. And there's a couple other exercises that I didn't do. Uh, I didn't rec uh, record. Like, uh, cable pull down and um, some of my leg exercises. Uh, I think I only record two of the leg exercises. There, you see, I switch again. Now I'm doing both um, hands, both arms. Maybe on Monday, uh, should I record it? The time that I usually go on Monday, there's, uh, during the week, it's usually packed. Not packed, but there's a good amount of people. I don't think I want to record on Monday. There, I stopped it. Did I stop it or I continue? I did something else. Uh, I don't remember. Okay, I then record the next set. So now that's after I did couple um other chest exercises. So I'm trying to black uh, the window uh, glare. So now I went to do some calf raises on the machine, and um, here, what I did is that this is only twenty five pound. Uh, I don't know if some of you know I had some sciatica um, on my left leg so I been doing some calf raises different ways and I find this actually works what I've done here is uh, I put the low uh, the moderate weight not really not heavy because I want to be able to do the full range so what I do is that I rotate my uh, my toes on the machine to hit the calves and it's really really good um I, okay i think i realized that it wasn't i wasn't it wasn't 
recording the way that I wanted to. So there it is. I, from my pinky to my toes, it's like I use all of the, uh, my my toes to do the motion. And that's when it's at the uh, uh, dorsiflexion. You see, I rotate. I start from my, my pinky to my big toe. I rotate it. And it really worked good for the calf. And I had my left uh, leg had some issues with muscles. And after my sciatica, it lose a lot of uh, strength. So every time I do, I do workout, at least um, I do the calf. Um, race. And now I increased the weight. I think I did maybe four sets of the very lowest weight, the 25 pound, doing the toe rotation at the uh, uh, dorsiflexion. And now I put a little weight. I could go heavier, but I really want the muscles to, f I really want my muscles to do the work. So once in a while, I'll, I'll go really heavy. But today I really wanted to focus on the, um, my calves. And, uh, you know, I do a couple repetitions very slowly. And then when I do a plantar um, flexion, I move my chest, my head forward. It put an extra load on the, the calves. Try it, you'll see. When you do the calf raises on that uh, seated, when you at the... Uh, Plantar flexion, when your heel is at the ground, move your chest forward. You'll see how much uh, stretch you have on your calf. It's really good. This, I sort of experienced it after I had uh, my sciatica. And I've been doing it ever since, and um, it worked. So I've, uh, I realized, you know, I don't want to go heavy. Let me just focus on that rotation. So I removed the, I think it was a 25-pound or what was it a 45 i remove it and i just stay with the 25 so i'll be able to do the rotation on my toes as you can see oh, i didn't know it shows very well my toe i'm moving my toes at the uh, dorsiflexion that's when you're at your tippy toes and i went down i do a couple repetitions as you can see all the uh, calf muscles are working and then once I get tired, I do the plantar flexion, and I went back again. You don't really need to do a lot of repetition. It burns. It burns when you do it. You have to use a lower weight to be able to feel all the muscles doing the work. It really burns when you do that. You pretty much you move your toes. You put um, dorsiflexion. I believe I'm ca calling it, I'm saying the right term when you're at your tippy toes on the seated calf raise and you keep it that way and you just move your toes around from your picky to your big toes or you could do uh, from your big toes to your picky picky uh, toes I don't know how they call it but it's like that you just move it around as I'm at, as I'm showing right now just rotate your leg you'll see as you can see all the calf muscles are working Okay, this can only be done at a moderate weight. And now I, it, my leg was getting tired and I had to do a plantar flexion a little bit to ease the pain, the burn, and then I continue it again. See, I didn't even do that many repetitions. I felt it. It was burning. I'd, I think I did a, I put, a, I did a little walk around and then I said, let me put the, the weight again and I'll just do regular go back to regular again regular uh, motion uh, how do you call this regular calf raises okay take a couple minutes let the burn subside and went back at it again and this time I'm doing it um, regular way the normal way My kids are making a lot of noise. They're playing video game. He had to earn it, actually. <laughs> he had to earn to play video game on the weekends during school days. I mean, during school uh, year. Okay, so now very slowly. 
when I do the calf phrases, uh, uh, normally the regular calf phrases, I do it very slowly. I think I only did three repetitions. Slowly it feels, you feel the burn. So now, uh, I don't do squats anymore due to my sciatica and uh, I have back pain. So this machine, uh, really, really good. Uh, it had... I feel like the area in my lower back, it at that uh, cushion, um, I was trying to fix it um, so everything can be seen. So, um, you see the back, uh, it's not that clear. The pad, really, uh, my lower back rests exactly where I need it. So, I use that to do my squats. It's not the perfect way, but, you know... I want to increase, uh, you know, I have no butt whatsoever. So I, I realized it wasn't working, so I changed it to a different area. So there's the pad. My lower back sits right on it. And now, um, you know, when I feel like doing squats, I use that. So what I did here, my legs are close together. I think I did three sets only. And each time I... Uh, do a set I change my leg position my feet position and I think I did 12 reps on each either 10 or 12 I don't remember sometimes you know when I'm doing those exercises I like to uh, to feel the area <laughs> see I touch my lower back I was like okay it's, it's, it's not hurting so let me do uh, another set that's what I was thinking when I did that. See, I didn't take that uh, much of a rest. I walk around, let the burn subside a little bit, and then come right back at it. That's my cardio. That lady who was asking me, he like, yeah, you don't do cardio. Well, the kind of cardio that I really want to do is on the treadmill and roaring machine, and I have to go back and forth. And my leg is not that strong. I don't want while I'm running, and then I, you know, my leg, my ankle, um, you know, messed up. Again, it's because of the sciatica. A lot of muscle and joints um, uh, normality has gone. So I, the kind of workout that I used to do, I don't do it anymore. So I, the the kind of um, cardio that I like to do, I don't do it. And once in a while, I'll do the rowing machine. And that's about it. And I don't do the running on the treadmill i never liked it anyway but when i do that's how i do it but once in a while i do the uh the rowing machine so in order for me to do cardio that's how i do it i do it on a circuit or i take shorter re rest i think that was three sets and i think i was done um yeah I did other exercises. I did uh, leg press and uh, my hamstring and the abductors. So I went to the locker room. And I went to wash my hands and after I went, so I could eat my cookies. There's the cookies. So I uh, took some selfies. <laughs> and this is how much I burned. I think it was in, and this is what I ate once I got home avocado, quinoa. Uh, whole wheat bread and chicken that's it and I think I'm full I'm still full and this is what I like to do once I get home and let me let you guys hear editing this video of my workout today I thought that I recorded when I was inputting today's information so today's Saturday, September 17th, I put this information, my workout result. One thing I then used to do is to put the time, well, the time that I work out, which I now start putting because of uh, my trial. I find out that uh, the gym, they put their own information. They put anything that they wanted. There were times that I was at the gym. Um, they didn't put and there were time I was not at the gym they have me in there so I start putting the time that I'm there and uh, all the information that I usually 
though remains the same the calories the date the day whether it's at night or in the morning and stuff like that and the type of workout that I usually do like today I did full body and I record a little bit I can't get it focused up uh, so today I did full body and uh, so I put all the workouts that I usually do so I started at 1 31 p.m. today and the last time I was there Thursday I did uh, ab shoulders bi biceps chest that was in the morning 8 56 p.m. so I put this information for my own record and uh, I don't want those inf the same problem that I had with my other gym it's it's so weird I don't know why I did it but anyway that will be a different workout uh, a different um, video so thanks for watching subscribe like and share and I hope with my poor quality video <laughs> sort of uh, give you an insight of uh, how I do my workout again thanks for watching